Hi, this is Jeff again, Fedora Coffee Works. Uh, just wanted to go over my brewing methods real quick with you. Um, as you can see, I have an addiction to Bialetti Brewing. Picked these up when I was in Italy. Two I got in Sicily. The other two I got in the northern region in Liguria by the uh, French border, a little town called Dolce Aqua. I recommend you go in there if you ever get a chance. Brilliant spot. Anyways, this is my favorite way of brewing. The way I brew most of the time is with your standard Mr. Coffee drip coffee pot. I don't use it a Mr. Coffee brand. It's another brand which is actually better because the water head on the inside has a bunch of holes and it, spray and it just lets the water just completely saturate the top of the, uh, the coffee grounds. Anyways, if you're not familiar with the uh, Bialetti, this is how it works. Your water goes in here. This goes on your stove top. Put your water in. That it has a very small filter in it. Those are just holes. You can see right through there. Put your coffee in there. Mount it up real nice. Don't tamp it. Just mount it up. This goes on top. And screws on. Screw that on, put it on your stove top, it's got a little air release valve in case the air builds up a little bit, that'll pop out and go shh. no big deal, it did it to me once, not a problem. I also like to use the pour over. This one has one hole, allows for a nice slow brew to get as much extraction off those coffee grounds as possible. Set that on top, put the filter in, take hot water, pour it over nice and slow, let it brew. Perfect. I love the pour over method. Uh, usually do that on the weekend. I also brew with a Turkish coffee pot. Picked up this Turkish coffee pot from a Moroccan guy at the Portobello Road Market in London. Sold it to me really cheap. This is a brass. And it has a tin line, tin liner. Put your water in, your sugar, your coffee. Coffee's real fine grind, powder, finer than an espresso grind. You put it in there, put it on your stove, you boil it three times, and you get an unbelievably rich crema coffee, unlike anything you've ever had before, richer than the Bialetti or any other method. This is this type of brewing has been done for centuries and is uh, called Turkish coffee because this is how they brew coffee in Turkey and other Arab nations around the world uh, and in now in Ohio. Me. There might be others out there. Good on you. It's a great way to get good coffee. As you can see here, I have a glass coffee mug. I only use glass for my coffee. I treat my coffee like wine. I want to see what I'm drinking. I want to see the color. I drink my coffee black. Absolutely never any creamer. Teaspoon of sugar, maybe. When you fresh roast, your coffee is going to be so fresh that you will find that you will no longer really need any creamer. That's my personal experience. I keep my coffee in a tin. As you can see, I put little holes in here because I roast the night before. This just lets a little bit of the gas out as it sits overnight. Some beans in there now. So that's my main brewing methods. Uh, recommend the Bialetti. If you're not familiar with it, get one. Go find one at a thrift store or just go buy one. Try it out at home. It takes about 8 minutes to brew on your stovetop. And you'll have the richest most flavorful coffee you'll ever have with this method pretty much if you don't want to go with the Turkish there's no paper filter in this so all the oils stay in the coffee when it's brewing what happens is see that little spout coffee's gonna fly out of that spout it's gonna fill up the inside of this and pour it out real easy real simple no electric 
you know, you're using your gas stove. As you can see, there is a uh, filter on the bottom of this. Creates pressure to force that water through the uh, coffee grounds. It's got a little rubber filter. That filter there and that rubber seal, that is replaceable if you ever need to have it replaced. Uh, these will pretty much last for, I, you know, I've had these for a few years, but these are so well made, this will probably last you 50 years, maybe longer, who knows. But that's how I brew, thought I'd share that real quick. Any questions on the Bialetti, let me know. Anything on fresh roast coffee, let me know. Drink from glass mugs. Do yourself a favor. And don't forget to fresh roast all your coffee. Stay away from that garbage stuff at the grocery store. Cheers for now.